Hi Pisces! Welcome to my channel preview. My name is Brianna. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, so this preview reading is going to be about anything that pops up for those of you guys who have not seen preview readings before. Um, it's pretty much like a general reading, so any information, whether that's about finance, um, love, whatever it may be, whatever pops out is what I'm going to talk to you guys about. And this could also be about certain things that you need to work on within yourself. So whatever messages God has for us is what I will share. Um, to get started, as I split this deck, we already have the Rainbow Blessings, oh my gosh, and then the Island Solitude, so yeah, it's definitely time to go within, do some inner work right now, or stay to yourself, and a lot of blessings are going to come in for you guys, and this could also be uh, meditation is what I'm getting as well. Um, for those of you guys who are interested, I will have the names of the cards that I use each deck um, in the description box below, so definitely check that out. Also, if you guys would like to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook um, uh, at Review, definitely check that out. I have all my links below. And if you want a personal reading with me, absolutely um, go to my website, Review.com. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get into this. We'll go ahead and shuffle one more time for you guys and then i'm gonna make sure we get into this oh okay so we have fog field and then gaia nurturing so maybe this is like a hidden love is what i'm getting okay or needing to love yourself a little bit more okay what's under the surface what people don't see wow oh my gosh lessons just want to come out for you guys yes i should say us right <laughs> Being a Pisces, right? Blessings. Ooh, I wonder what kind. Ooh, okay. Well, let's see what we got. So we have the release coming out with the instincts. Ooh. I feel like there's something that you need to release here from the past. Allow yourself to move forward so you can get these blessings that are trying to come in. And also, following your instincts, following your heart is what's going to guide you there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what else comes out for the Pisces. Wow. You have the rebirth, completion, and communion. Oh my gosh. And then we got a wake up call coming in as well. And that goes perfectly with the communion. Look at that. Look at how something's coming in. It's definitely a wake up call. I'm hearing enlightenment is also coming in. And this could be a message that's going to come in through God. Um, but I feel like you need to be doing some type of yoga and meditation. And I feel like your intuition with that instincts card there as well. Your intuition is trying to speak to you. Okay. Okay. Very important message that's trying to come in to you guys. Okay. Let me have the rebirth. So there's a lot of changes um, that's going to come into your life very soon. Very, very soon, I feel like. And these are going to be good changes. You know, a lot of growth is going to come in for you guys. And also, for some of you guys, I'm hearing getting more in touch with nature. Okay. Then we have the completion card. So, with the release and then completion falling under that, it's definitely time to let go, like I said, of the past. Certain things from the past moving forward with your life. And really completing out a lot of old cycles that are no longer serving you. All right, I'm hearing one more. Whew. Thank you, God, for the messages that have come through for Pisces. Okay, can I please have it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have this promise of healing, okay? It's time to heal. It's time to heal yourself, yes. And if you need to, be vulnerable with the way that you feel. This could be about love situation. Not only that, it's time to really ground your energies. Take a break if you need it. Change your perspective on certain things, on how you've been looking at certain things. Maybe you're not seeing something the right way. Again, it's really time to release and take that movement forward. I'm hearing one more time. Jeez. Yeah. It's time for you, if you need to, be vulnerable with how you feel about somebody. As you see that cute little couple right there, right? You know, if you have feelings towards someone, you need to be vulnerable and have the strength to speak up about this. Okay? Yeah. And for some of you guys, also, is going after a childhood dream if you had it. Releasing things that have happened from childhood as well. Obviously, many different messages come through. Yeah, like I said, these are it's about dreams as well. Really going after them. And then with the shape-shifting, again, like I said earlier, there's a lot of changes that are really coming in for you guys. A lot of changes coming in for you guys. All right. Now, 
go ahead and get into this next deck which we have the action card popping out with the fourth chakra archangel Raphael, and that is your heart chakra so this could be a change in love for some of you guys or again like i was just saying it's time to really take action or speak up towards someone that you are interested in okay yeah wow as i say that i split the deck to the door to romance Ooh, it's time it's time to allow some new romance some new love into your life okay all right so let's get into it yes and then we have the world here again it is time to really complete and um end some old cycles in your life yeah and this could be about things that you've learned from other people around you okay oh my gosh someone keeps calling me let me finish you guys reading and then we're ready to go one two popped out yeah so I'm going to take action and walk away from certain situations in your life that are no longer serving you. Thank you, God. Yes. Rest and rejuvenation. And earlier, we seen that solitude card. Yes. It is definitely a good idea for you guys to meditate, contemplate, um, get that stillness that you need. Whoa. Jesus, mama. Right. Jesus, mama. Okay. <laughs> we got a whole bunch. All right. Yes. Take that action to walk away from certain things. Rest, rejuvenate. Take care of yourself. It's time to strategize to do what makes you truly happy, to get what makes you truly happy as well. And this could be love for some of you guys. Going after a lover or someone that you want to be with in a relationship and taking the steps necessary to do so or to be ready for it, okay? And then the last one, indecision. Some of you guys are feeling very indecisive right now. And again, that's where this strategy is going to come into play, right? figuring out how to move forward or what the best way to move forward is and i feel like you will definitely do so and what's under that we have the fifth chakra archangel gabriel which is let me see bing, bing, bing. check in my chakra bible the fifth one is your solar plexus that talks about power anxiety and introversion and fear as well all right so really tapping into your personal power and figuring out how you can move forward it's definitely time to do some. Go ahead, use my next deck and get to what we can up out of it. Ooh, thank you, God, for all the messages that have come through for Pisces so far. All right. Woohoo! And one more time, and then I'm gonna go ahead pull some cards for you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. Oops. Then I gotta call my mom back. <laughs> Did you call me? Okay, so we have trickery and service. Okay, so what I'm getting right off bat, someone could be acting like they're trying to help you. First off, right, like this is literally what I'm getting from this. It could be someone who's pretending to be like a friend, acting like they're trying to help you out, but really, all in all, they're really not. Like, I'm hearing they're trying to have something to hold over your head. Rude. I hate people like that. Like, that's so aggy. Like, oh, I did this for you. You owe me type thing. Like, that's what I'm getting. For some of you guys, like, that's the type of energy I'm getting. For others of you, I don't know if you guys are, have, like, Virgo in your chart. But I was just talking to them about, like, scammers and stuff. Especially right now with all this online stuff. Was definitely what I was getting. So, walking away from people who was like this. Okay? Okay. Let's see what else we get for you guys. Thank you, God, for all the messages. Oh, despondence. Yes. Also, walking away from this hopeless feeling um, as well. Okay. Feeling hopeless about the future, maybe, for some of you guys. But it's definitely a good time for growth. Definitely time. Okay. And you focus on that. That's going to bring in a lot of happiness. Oh. Also, for new love, definitely a soulmate can be coming in. For some of you guys, you're needing to release again. You're needing to release. That's twice it popped out. Needing to release the past. That's the action you need to take. And then this is what's going to bring in the happiness and the balance into your life. Yes. And also changing your perception about certain things that have gone on in the past. And that's really going to help you to learn lessons from it. Okay. And persevering through whatever's going on in your life right now. All right, guys. Woo! Yeah, and especially if you guys are feeling confused or indecisive, definitely continue to push through that and find the balance within. I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple more cards just to wrap up this reading. 
And then I'm gonna call it a day for you guys. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this reading. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and as well as subscribe to my channel and please help me to reach my goals here um, of getting at least my first thousand subscribers. Please. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. The presence of love will always cast out fear. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, God. Whoa. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. So know that you are going in the right direction, but sometimes there's going to be things that are going to pop up that are going to help you to grow, okay? There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. You know, that's right. Tap into who you truly are and be who you truly are. The last card underneath it. When I think I have surrendered, I surrender more. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Pisces, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.